Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today we're out focusing on a deck. This is a super common project here, at least within the Midwest of the United States, where you purchase a home and it has a, a nice deck. This one is 14 feet by 23 feet, so it's a nice setup, but it just really hasn't been maintained over the years. So it hasn't been treated or like this one if it's been painted. Uh, all the paints coming off so it needs some attention first you want to assess the situation you know what is the shape of the decking itself can you just get a pressure washer and clean it off and then retreat that for its second life or does it actually need to be removed like this one we're going to remove all this decking and get it down to the joist and then build it back up this will be a multi-part video with this one just focusing on tearing off all the old material and getting it ready uh, to put on new. Tools here, really just going to use a simple framing hammer, a fairly large crowbar, and then always handy uh, sledgehammer. So that's really all you need to tear off. It's gonna be different whether they use nails and what condition your deck's in, or if they use screws, how easy or hard the decking will be to remove. But let's go ahead and jump in, run through, and start tearing this off. So just taking everything off the top of the deck, so all the seating and all the planter boxes. And then with the planter boxes especially, breaking these down so I can lay them flat, uh, it makes it easier to carry, carry more material to the truck and then also makes the most out of, of your bed space in the truck. So we'll start loading up the material into the bed of the truck. And don't forget, before you get too far, you're going to want to get your ratchet straps uh, set into place. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified on any of our new videos coming out, like part two of this deck project. Alright, so we're about halfway through with the project, and like most projects on the weekend, I got to get rolling to drop off the first load, because that is um, the transfer station where I drop it off, closes at noon. So I'd like to have a little bit more load than what you see in the back, but uh, I also don't want to have all the material laying around the yard uh, over the weekend. So. If you don't know what a transfer station is, you're wondering where to drop this material off, you do have a few options. One, check Google, look for transfer station. Uh, you'll find one in your area, and that is something you can get your own truck or rent a truck from like Home Depot or your big box home improvement store and drop it off yourself. Not complex, might be a little intimidating if you haven't done it before, but it's not a big deal. But that's going to be anywhere from $75 to $100 in your area. Uh, maybe more, depending on where you're at. Option two, and maybe even the better option, if you can look for metal scrappers, so look in your area and try to find a scrapper, someone that looks for, you know, old worn out swing sets, looks for copper wire, whatever that is, and then they scrap that material. They usually drive around and pick up, you know, old fridges, whatever it is, uh, in alleys and stuff. If you can find those guys, they'll also usually, because they have the truck, and they'll haul, they'll haul away your material for a pretty reasonable cost. Why is that? Well, they, they might have a little better 
pricing at the transfer station to maybe, honestly, they have some place where they have a burn pyre, pile and this is just wood. So depending on how you feel about that, uh, a lot of people just throw it on a burn pile. So those are your options. I'm going to the transfer station uh, to drop this load off. So I'm going to assume you're not a pro at transfer stations. So I'm going to give you a little bit of lay of the land here. Usually with a transfer station, you do something like this, pull up on a scale, stop, wait for that beep, and then you can proceed. That's the scale house telling you, hey, we got your weight, go ahead and drop off your material. And then after you drop off the material, so you get everything out of your bed, you will go back through the scale, weigh again, wait for the beep, and then go in and pay. This way, there's usually some type of max, like a one ton for a pickup load. They want to make sure you're not going over that maximum weight. For instance, on this load, I think I was like 11 or 1200 pounds, so I was well under the one ton uh, max for this transfer station. Each one's going to be different, so maybe call your local transfer station. So you just back up to the pile like this and start chucking. So uh, if you have rusted out nails like this does, be careful uh, not to go too fast and put your hand or foot through one of the rusted nails because that makes the project much tougher in a much longer day if you get injured. All right, back from the transfer station, and you can see I got quite a bit more of the decking removed before leaving. Uh, than what you saw earlier in the video. One favor to ask of you guys, if this video is helping out, go ahead and click that like button and that would be much appreciated. All right, so go ahead and power through the rest of this decking, not too much left. And you'll see my rhythm is kind of working at ground level for a few uh, rows of decking and then going up on top and just alternating back and forth, which I feel kind of makes me less tired and easier just to power through the whole project. If you guys have some tips or if you have some questions, jump down in the comments and that is the best place to engage. And I'm always in there on a daily basis interacting with with viewers all right the first part is coming to a close so you saw we removed all the seating the planter boxes and all the decking that was for a one-man job a one-person job is it was four hours and two truckloads if i really if i had time and the transfer station was open maybe i could have got it into one pickup truck and that's with a six and a half foot bed with the tailgate down maybe i could have but i had to split it into two so total cost right now for disposal is 175 dollars. that's what the transfer station fees will be and then i'll walk you guys through on the next part where we start to repair the joist and any uh, repairs we need to do to the structural part of it and that includes leveling up that far side there to the uh, to the joist and the rim joist and uh, also the decking we're pr most likely just going to go with pressure treated but still looking at a few uh, different products out there so i'll walk you through how much is that going to cost uh, start to finish from the disposal to all the materials getting back on the deck in the next part of this series But for now, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel We do have videos like this coming out weekly and if this one helped you out Don't forget to give us a like and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care